This is going to be controversial, isn't it? So I've been ill for about five days. Um, I feel wonderful. Um, I feel extremely healthy and extremely wonderful at this time. Um, so since I'm so defeated and so in pain from this deadly illness, I thought I'd talk about something that's equally ill. A series of unfortunate events. It's based off a book series written by Lemony Snicket. It isn't actually, I'm not bothered to look into who actually made it. If you're interested, I've read all 13 of them, which is no easy feat, and the books are pretty surreal, they have a unique style to them, and they're good, they're alright, they're fine, they're serviceable. However, this show, this is what I want to talk about, because I... There was a 2004-2005 movie with Jim Carrey in it, <coughs> and it wasn't so good. But, you know, it was, it was fine for what it was. However, they announced the Netflix series, and I was like, ooh, Netflix, a series of unfortunate events, that could be interesting. So, they were going to have faithful book adaptations, and spend two episodes per book, with Neil Patrick Harris cast as Count Olaf. And that was my first indication that this probably wouldn't be the best thing ever. But little did I know, on Friday the 13th, the unlucky day, that I would be watching something that probably wasn't too worth watching. But because I'm not all doom and gloom, I guess I should at least give a couple of things that I liked. Whilst most of the comedy was pretty unfunny and not very clever, I did find some of it to be enjoyable. I love its practical set work and scenery. There are some pretty well done performances in it as well. Some of its music is pretty good, and lastly, my favourite thing about a series of unfortunate events is probably Patrick Warburton's Lemony Snicket. Why? Well, he adds something that this show fails to do. He has charisma, likability, character, a sense of fun to him. Something that tells us that yes, this has happened, he adds both fun and a sort of sombreness to it, which is why I like Lemony Snicket out of everyone the most in this. And now, let's go to the bad stuff. While there are some very likeable performances in this, most of them remain to be just pretty awful. In particular, I want to bring out the two lead children in this, Klaus and Violet whose performances are so awful that I just... I just don't know what the problem with it actually is. Because at first, I was hesitant to believe the children were performing this poorly, as it is actually really poorly written in terms of dialogue they're given, but come on! They don't add any believability or convincingness to it at all. It's just so weird in the way that they do it. Like, why do it in that way? Likewise, the, the, the children just don't really work, like, their parents have been burnt alive and they don't show any emotion. Like, emote for God's sake. I don't know if this is the fault of the actors or the writers, but it really does make me question, like, what? Why? It, it takes away all realism and sense of anything for this, really. Like, how am I supposed to take any of this seriously? When you have young children who can barely act, why do you give them lines that you can barely deliver convincingly? Barely any of the characters are believable because they've written them with no real development at all. Like, let's take for example Josephine. She's meant to be a formidable woman, or not, she's a, a coward. But then she used to be formidable. What happened in between? Why is she not? Oh, okay, they'll never explain it. Thanks. It tries to add some things on but fails, because it's inaccurate to the books. This does a good job of being accurate, but no it doesn't, because the books have a certain charm. 
and a certain focus to them. This is very unfocused. This is focused on the character of Count Olaf, which in the books it never is, for good reason. Count Olaf is the villain. Now, I want to bring this very clearly here. Neil Patrick Harris was not a good job for Count Olaf. And the reason is, he's a comedian. He can do the comedic stuff for Olaf well, however some of the writing just didn't work in terms of jokes. A lot of them did land. A lot of the writing was trying to be clever and so on, but it wasn't smart enough. However, Neil Patrick Harris cannot play a threatening villain. Jim Carrey could do that, he has the kind of energy and chops to do it. Neil Patrick Harris, he does not have the sort of chops to successfully play a villain, it just doesn't work. When the first words you hear are look away, look away, because of how horrible this is, why does it go for the tone it has? The books have a playful sombreness. It's like a nightmare if you think about it. It's a bad dream. You know it's a dream because there's a lot of surrealist stuff. However, it's still dark, it's still pretty unfortunate, it's still pretty mean. There's a line even to say it's good to cry yourself to sleep. That's an excellent line because it well summarises what this is trying to be. This is just plain stupid. Like, really stupid. Um, <coughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's stupid. <laughs> its colour palette doesn't fit with other colour palettes. A lot of the times its tones clash, and because of this it just makes it feel very forced and not work too well, which could really maybe mean something. Um, that's a bit of a problem that I, I have. Um, no, it just doesn't work. It just doesn't feel like it fits. And that's the fact. It doesn't fit. There's a scene where an awful CGI baby plays cards in a cage with a man that has hooks for hands and somehow blackmails him. My suspension of disbelief died after that. Now, I'd just like to remind you this is a Netflix TV show, so I don't mind it for having poor CGI. The problem is, it uses a lot of it, and it uses a lot of, like, really bad CGI. Like, I'm talking atrocious CGI, like that baby playing cards in a cage, it's some of the worst CGI I've ever seen, and looks so awful. But the thing is, if you know you have poor CGI, then why do you use it? Why not use this CGI to... Why, why just, you know, it uses like CGI backgrounds and things that don't need to be used for CGI. Like, why? Why would you do that sort of thing? This review probably has better pacing than the Netflix show. You see, this is a really long and boring show, and all that fun little stuff, and you're probably wondering what I have against it. Well, let's put things simply. It's boring. It's so strange what it does. It tries to extend out a load of minuscule things that really shouldn't be extended out. Because of this, it, it, it just doesn't work, there are too many things going on, but yet it feels too simplistic, it tries to add in a load of stuff from the books that aren't in the books, and as a result they just feel really forced, and there's a spoiler that I may talk about one day, uh, I'm not going to talk about it in this video, but essentially, there are two B-list actors who show up continuously in the end of every episode, and I thought they were going to be going in an interesting direction with it, until they revealed that no, it's an actual hint for season two. For season two! So you're not even actually going to do that. Okay then, so in that case you've essentially wasted our time. We do not need to see this thing. It's essentially a fake out setup for something that's not in this season. It sucks. Pacing in this sucks. 
Look away. Look away. Look away. Look away. Look away. No, look away. 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 Don't look at this. No, look at this. Don't look at this. Look away. Don't look. Don't watch. Don't watch. Don't look away. Watch away. Don't watch. Watch Stranger Things. Watch whatever else is good. Just don't watch this. Watch how watch the 2004 a series of unfortunate events. I hear that's pretty good if you ask me. I'm, I'm joking. It sucks. But anyway, so let's give my final thoughts. This show's stupid. It sucks. Hence, um, it, it's not believable. It loses all believability. Um, tonally, it sucks. Acting is pretty poor. The writing is atrocious. There are a lot of strange creative choices that I really don't get. There are a lot of moments that don't make any sense. And that's why this show sucks. And I'm gonna leave it there, so... Yeah. But, I mean, if you've already seen a series of unfortunate events, you disagree, then please tell me why. But one thing I've noticed is I tried to see if there were any other people who agreed with my thoughts, and surprisingly, no. Very few people think that this show sucks, so I guess I'm on my own here, and yeah. So, uh, final thoughts, incredibly goofy, awful dialogue, um, it has some good jokes, some good performances, uh, a load of potential, pretty faithful adaptation, but a load of it is just wasted potential, and because of that, sucks. Hence the title of the video suggests. And with that, I'm in the video here, so yeah, I'm apologising for my um, cold. I can't do anything about that. And for a start, you can check out my Twitter, AmbusChicken4321. Tell me what you think of a series of unfortunate events in the comments below as well. And check out my gaming channel, MrChicken167. And if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe, like, and comment. And I will see you guys later. Bye bye